Hey y'all, it is, today is August 3rd, yeah. and please excuse everything you see going on right now. It's August 3rd, what's that, seven days before my NCLEX exam, and I am freaking out, I am stressed out. I'm so nervous. I'm using you world to study. Um, and I haven't told anybody this yet, but this will be my second time taking this test. So that's why I'm really freaking out. You would think I would be a little more at ease, but I'm not. And you would think I would be at ease because I kind of know what to expect, which I do, but it's just that thought in the back of my head, like, you could not fail again. I'm freaking out, and then my U world expires in two days. And my test is in seven days. So that means I will be out of questions to practice on for five days. But thank God my friend Brittany came through. Hey girl. <laughs> she came through and she gave me another U World test bank, so I can use that for the remainder remainder of the five days that I have. But yes, and I also been using this guy named Mark. I can't pronounce his last name. It starts with a K. Mark K. I've been using his um review audios. He's an NCLEX review um, review person. And he's giving good information and helpful tips and everything. Y'all, can y'all hear in my voice the shaking? It's like I'm tripping. I am a tripping. But, yeah. Um, this is what I've been doing. This is why I've been missing. And I'm going to continue to be missing until I take this exam and pass it. But, I will bring y'all along the way with me every day. I won't be doing anything but studying. But, just to check in and let you know how I'm feeling. Even just to let myself, you know, just a little diary for myself. Just, you know, to look back on and be like, girl, you was tripping. When I finally pass, because I'm going to pass this time. My thing now is to do what I didn't do the first time. And, um, so yeah, I'm going to get back to studying. I have, like, this is my new world. And I only have, like... 452 more questions to do and I'll be done and it comes with um, 2100 and it's right telling me right here that my subscri subscription is expiring so thank God for Brittany but yeah I'm just studying and I have my um, notes because I did listen to all of Mark K's um, audios and I took notes so I'm going to be going over that stuff too but yeah, this is going to be my life for the next seven days. I mean, I've been studying before this, but I figure, hey, let me check in and let the people know what's going on. Okay, so it is test day, August 10th, 7.16 in the morning. I'm so tired. Um, I did not sleep very much last night. I went to sleep at like, I laid down at like 10 o'clock. Then I noticed at like 12 o'clock I was still laying there. Then I finally dozed off maybe 30 minutes later. Woke back up at like 2 o'clock. And then I think I might have been out until like 5. I barely slept. So it was a, a long night for me. Right now, I don't know how I'm feeling. I guess when I walk in there, we'll know. On the way here, I listened to my um, NCLEX review guy. Guy, I listened to him, Mark K, Mark Clemick. I listened to his audio on like um, toxicities and stuff like that, and medications, because I know that's really important. But um, yep. You hear that? <laughs> the nerves coming. But I'm trying to keep myself calm. I bought snacks. <clears throat> to eat on my break 
I have in my head that I'm going to get 265 questions because I do not want to be disappointed when I see that um, test question 76 pop up and then I don't want to, you know, stress myself out more. So I have in my head that I am getting 265 questions. So I have my snacks. I have six hours to do that. So I will be back once I am finished and let you guys know how I'm feeling and what's going through my head at that point. Oh, shit. Okay, y'all. It is now 10.44. Okay. I started my exam at like 8.20. I don't know. I don't know. Now, I told y'all that this is my second time taking this test. And the first time I took, like, the whole... Oh, God. I took the whole six hours. Damn near. I probably had, like, 20 minutes left. And I had like 260, I think I, yeah, I had 265 questions. And the crazy part about it is last time, I didn't even realize that I had the whole 265. That's how out of it I was. Like I had the whole, got, I got my CPR report and I got the whole 265. And I do remember taking all the time. I probably had like 20 minutes left. But this time, they stopped me at 84. And I had hella, 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 hella select all the apply. And I just don't know how to feel about it. Because they say when you get select all the apply, a lot of them, that's good. But I just don't know how to feel about it, y'all. I can't afford to take this test again, first of all. Y'all. I probably want to put this in. I'm crying like a little punk. But two hours, like almost two hours to finish the test. Like every the first time they stop you to take a break, I took it. And I think at that point I was at, I was at like it's like 77 or 78 or something. So I took the break. I took like, I took like a 10 minute break. Went to the bathroom, ate my snack. I took ate a banana and like some chocolate, drank some water, and I just prayed more and trying to figure out, like, think back to my notes and what I learned and what I studied and, but, so I went back in there and I was probably in there for like 20 more minutes or something, I don't know, something crazy, because I stopped at 84, so I did like six, uh, like a handful more questions, but y'all, I look like trash, I feel like trash, I'm sick, I'm getting sick, so my eyes was burning the whole time. Or maybe it's because I didn't sleep last night. I don't know how to feel. I just don't know. I don't know. Like, I felt like last time I was so all over the place. I just don't think I was thinking clear, as clear as I was today. Today I felt like I knew more. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Two hours, eight for questions. And I don't know if I'm going to do the piercing view trick because I'm so freaking scared. But I don't know if I'm going to wait because I think I have to wait till Monday because it's Saturday. So I might have to wait till Monday to even get an email. Maybe Tuesday, I don't know. I think it's like 24 to 48 hours, business hours. Uh, I don't know, y'all. So I'm going to go home to my family and try not to think about it. I have a birthday party to go to so that can help me keep my mind off of it for a minute. Good job. <gasps> Alright. I'm gonna go home. <sighs> Cause this is I don't know. I'll let you guys know when I get my results or if I do a trick, but I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, welcome back. 
go. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, let's see. Okay, um, today we're going to talk about my inklex. Now, as you just saw, you just saw me come back out from taking my test and I was freaked out. I was confused. Ooh, I'm coming right now. I was freaked out. I was confused. I I didn't know what to feel. I just didn't know what was going on. But I'm here to tell you that I passed. I passed my index. I passed that 84 questions. And that was the most, well not that day, that day was crazy for me, but finding out that I passed was the most amazing feeling ever. Like I worked so hard for that, I studied so hard for that. And y'all know that was the second time that I took the test. Second time around, I knew it was how I was gonna feel in there, the temperature wise, so I didn't wear a sweater, I dressed lightly, I brought snacks, I took my break, and it stopped me at 84 questions. So. Your girl is officially a registered nurse, R-E-M-B-S-N, yes. I'm so happy. I'm just, it's just amazing. Like every day I think about it, it's just crazy. Like I never thought I would be here. So yes, your girl passed her NCLEX and now it's time for the next step in this journey. I'm gonna start working next month. And I did get a position um, and labor and delivery, which is all I wanted. So I'm gonna take you guys along this nursing journey with me. You guys wanna see what it's like to be a labor and delivery nurse, um, a new nurse especially. I will have a video for you guys on what I use to study for you, and I'm gonna share with you um, the resources that I use to help pass, and um, I'm sure this is what helped me pass. So stay tuned for that, and thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video because I'm a nurse, I'm a nurse. So yeah, that's it. Stay tuned for more videos, I love y'all.